All right, this is Xenomorph's uh, idea. It worked out real good. This is a suspended neodymium ring magnet that is suspended with a screw to another neodymium magnet right here. And that is being uh, propelled by this electromagnet right here that as that spins around, triggers that magnet through this circuit to fire and spin up that uh, ring magnet. Brilliant idea. And uh, the homopolar motors uh, on YouTube, a lot of them run this way. They just hang the hang the magnet by a screw and uh, they energize the uh, rotor with a battery and spin it up. This is being energized by that coil right there. And um, real interesting little thing. It's it's just this neodymium magnet that I put a little propeller thing on so you could see it spin. And then you just you just hang it right there and then you can spin it up. And there it goes. And these lights here, as these lights flash, that indicates the firing of the coil. And um, this is my uh, top charger circuit. It's a little different than a Bedini. It's the same kind of idea though. It has a drive battery and a charge battery and a switch here that you can switch them back and forth between the two different batteries. And as this spins up it's actually draining from one battery and charging up another. And uh, this is the speed controller right here. But uh, this was uh, Xenomorph's idea and it worked quite well. I was uh, surprised how well that worked. And it's pretty darn simple. It's it's almost like levitation, but it's not. It's just suspended by that one point right there. And uh, spinning up off that one point. And um, most of the weight comes off it with gravity and the attraction between that point there and this electromagnet core, which is a solid core on this particular design. But I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, this was a Xenomorph's idea. Neat one. Real good one.